What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I got another snippet from my conversation with TJ Chapman. Now, who is TJ Chapman? He's B.O.B.'s manager, Trap Peckham's manager, guy super experienced. You gotta listen to this guy and his wisdom. Or in this video right here, it's something that is really a lot deeper than a lot of artists realize. And I swear, if you reprogram this about how you think about your marketing as an artist, you will find far more success because this one thing honestly has the power to end an artist's career before they ever have a real shot. And it's funny to me, it's funny to me how many artists feel like advertising is cheating. They want to be organic man. and advertising isn't organic. Well, you know how crazy y'all sound, man. You think Apple says that when they drop a new damn iPhone, yeah. huh? All, every brand, uh, um, you think, you think, um, Atlantic, uh, says that with Cardi B. No, they put millions of dollars into the marketing to make sure they putting it in front of everybody. Yep. You know, but you have to put it in front of people so they can see it in the first place to make that decision whether or not they want to listen. Yep. And they it, it just trips me out how 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 they they feel like it's cheating or or, or it's not right. And man, that is business one oh one. At the end of the day, you have to figure out which your music how you going you first off you got to find a place for it to live mm -hmm. number two you got to figure out how you're going to give it life and i can't tell you none of that for sure i'm going to shoot at all these methods to try to find the right one and if all of them work or whatever that's the more the merrier but i'm i'm i'm, I'm not limiting uh uh my odds you know, uh, in, in breaking this record. I'm going to try to expose it every way possible. I'm going to use all the methods that I told you to make sure I expose it to people uh, till I find something to catch uh, and this record actually gets life. Yeah, it's weird in, that in the marketplace today, is, there's this big pushback or desire to be organic as if it makes things pure, <laughs> right? And, I don't, and, 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 and organic and marketing don't necessarily go hand in hand true, like true. because at the beginning it has to be artificial i don't care if you didn't pay any money but i asked you the fact i asked you to listen to my song personally is me putting in some artificial effort to get you to listen like you want to you want to start or spark some organic that's what you want your artificial marketing to do but you got to get like that ball rolling and like you have there's so many people that are like i'll do a video about an artist on, on the channel for example and someone might be like oh man this is fake or their industry plan or they paid or they had money and it's like you're talking about them for the methods they use but they're on they're where you want to get like so try to use those methods as opposed to like i, I don't understand uh, that, but you but they, they they're killing themselves up uh, for, for sure all right so you might have heard the point, you might get the point, but I have to expand on this conversation because honestly, I don't think artists understand the gravity of what this is rooted in. First and foremost, you have to consider that it's been marketed to artists for years, this whole idea of the starving artist. That used to be a real thing that signified purity. Artists actually took pride in being a starving artist. But do you know why artists were starving? because the record labels were taking their money. Somebody was making money off of the artists. And then the other artists are just being sold the dream. So you have to struggle and hustle to even get in a position to get your money taken. That's been pushed and pushed on artists for a long time now. And there's still some remnants of that stuff left over to the point where you have this weird classism in artistry where artists try to downgrade and discredit people who aren't moving with a starving artist mentality of this just happens for me. It was super organic. I didn't use a business mind and infrastructure and way of going about things to boost my career. So even though you might not have that in all aspects, there might be small subjects where you're thinking about it that way. Because at the end of the day, when you're complaining about these other people, it does nothing but make you sound like a loser. And why do I say it like that? Because I think that's the only way to drive through the point that y'all are playing the same game, so to speak. Really, you're playing your own game, but everybody is playing this music game in the artist space, right? Well, if that's true, just like any video game, there's people who have strengths and weaknesses, right? You might have 100 on power, but 50 on speed and something else on agility. Then you might have certain weapons. It's the same 
thing. Everybody has different advantages. You might have more time to spend or waste. There's certain things that people have and some people, and there's certain things other people don't. At the end of the day, there's the things you have and the things that you don't have. But when you work through those certain levels of the game, you're either losing or you're winning at various parts of the game. You get to the big boss and hey, they have all these different powers that you don't have and you either beat them or you lose. You have to make the most out of what you have because you wouldn't be complaining if you had the money. If you had a rich dad or if you had a big investor or if you had some of these other situations, you're not going to be saying, hey, yeah, I got a million dollars in the bank, but I'm not going to use it so I can keep it real. That's stupid. First of all, like money does not guarantee success in the game. Connections do not even guarantee success in the game. So you really plan yourself if you allow yourself to continue having that narrative out there. You're just allowing that to exist because it makes you feel better. Since I don't have that, then I can't get this. That's the only reason. They have that and I don't. But again, the truth is, that's not the only differentiator. It isn't because there's so many rich parents or so many successful artists that have kids that are nowhere near as big as some of these other artists, right? How many artists are as big as Chris Brown, are as big as Drake, or as big as Chance the Rapper, are as big as Taylor Swift, Beyonce. Not to say that these people didn't have certain connections at certain points of their career, but for the most part, most of these people started outside of the industry and worked their way up. But there's so many people with kids that are legends in the game that are not doing it big. No one wants to listen to their music. They have connections, but nobody cares about their money. They're still not going to the shows. A girl was just telling me the other day how she just went to this show of a girl who has 1.2 million followers on Instagram and the person signed to a legend in the game, and I'm not even talking about old school, old school legend. I'm talking about the legend still has high cultural impact today, but the girl didn't have like 50 people at her show. Stop looking at people and say, oh, of course they made it because they got a lot of money. The money does not guarantee the success, which brings me back to the fact this whole organic thing as well is something that you guys have to get your mind off of. This whole idea, if you're going to market, if you're working on marketing right now, then it's not organic. If you pay for one post to be posted by an influencer, you're already doing something that's not organic. By that type of definition, your whole marketing initiative is to do as many artificial things as possible that will bring attention to your product and hope that your product is quality enough that it sparks and creates organic traffic. Anybody else who just happened to blow up and they didn't know what was happening, yeah, those people are out there. They did just go viral, but that's a luck of the cards. It's a draw the cards. It's not because they were better than somebody else. That's just good timing. There's a lot of people who can sing well, rap well, all these things, but they didn't post it on a platform and didn't get seen by certain people and it didn't go viral. And, and keep in mind, whenever a new platform ages, it will be harder and harder to be organic. If you're five, six, seven years into Instagram and posting, there's not gonna be that much organic growth and help because the platforms build their technology against it. They're different now. And that goes for any other platform. If you get on there early, yes, you might find some good organic growth, but the chances of that go down and down and down every single month a platform ages. That's just how it goes. I'm not gonna get into all the particular reasons. I just need you guys to realize is there is no dishonor in building an audience from paid traffic. If this is a fan base, you have fans. That's all that matters. It's not smart just to be spending money and then people don't come into fans. That's why we talk about strategy and how to do things right. But if you get the end result, then great. Because there's a lot of people out there spending the money, way more money than you can even imagine and still not getting the result. The link to my full interview with TJ's DJs will be in the description below. Once that interview is dropped, that link will become active. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.